to let the 10 day quarantine <laughs>
caps vinegar, which I'm pretty happy about. This looks like a main course. It's got some rice, uh, breaded, I suppose, fish, some meat, and some cooked vegetables. Of course, I like, as much as possible, if I could get my vegetables raw, I will because you have the enzymes there and the good vitamins. This is meal number two. More rice. This looks like a breaded pork. Oops. And I think this is pumpkin or calabasa. And this looks like cream of chicken. I'm not quite sure. This one smells like a pastry, so I think it's a bold cake. <laughs> looks very spongy smell. It actually smells velvety, so it could be a red velvet uh, pastry. Interesting, it's shaped like a ball though. <laughs> So this is some red sauce. I'm not sure if this is sweet and sour or ketchup. So far, so good. And we've got a Filipino dessert. Everyone knows this. <laughs> so got kulman. like outside the window I can already see some sunlight seeping in it's technically my second day here because uh, I arrived yesterday but since I arrived at 2 a.m. Uh, it does feel like my first day here with sunlight and it is so it's time to reveal what the room looks like with all the Sun coming in stick around and come and join me let's open up the curtains I'm sure it's a very beautiful view and I already feel like it's such a lovely day let's start to open the curtains gosh I cannot complain wow welcome back to Manila this is quite the welcome oh my oh everything is looking fabulous from the bedroom I definitely will highly recommend getting the corner room if you are gonna be staying here for 10 days for your quarantine just look at that I believe that is RCBC Plaza over to my right, right there. And yeah, this is just the perfect view of Makati. If you want to see what it's like here in Makati, it looks like they are possibly constructing a building down there. There's uh, a lot of construction going on. And wow, very, very stunning view. Again, it's not so sunny today, but that doesn't matter because that view is just breathtaking. I am very grateful for my first day here with sunlight. And I'm sorry if the bedroom's messy. I just woke up, but um, wow, this is lovely. Again, you do have some space here if you wanna sit down, grab your coffee, or maybe even have your food here for a change of uh, scenery but great this is absolutely amazing I can't wait to show you the window from the bathroom let's open the curtains and see what the view is like It's absolutely stunning. Look at that. I'm forgetting what it's like being here in the city because I've lived in Scotland for four months with all the nature, but wow, 
we are definitely part of the skyscrapers. I'm only here on the third, well, 23rd floor, but that's pretty high enough. And I love that there's a nice gap between this building and the next, so it's not too claustrophobic, but wow, it's a little bit on the cloudy side today, but you can see the clear road of Ayala Avenue. And that doesn't look like that much traffic, which is great. <laughs> For Philippine standard, this place would have been really traffic, but I suppose because of the pandemic, it's not so bad. Wow, very nice. This is actually quite a nice spot to have some coffee, sit down there and yeah, think away. I was also noticing some interesting things outside the window. Check out that beautiful pool over there. It looks like an island, but wow, nice. It would be so lovely to be able to swim there. And come over here and check out this rooftop. I'm not quite sure about the view, but yeah, it looks very interesting. Here in the Philippines, because there are so many uh, buildings and skyscrapers, I wouldn't be surprised if I could probably spot a nice rooftop over here. There's another one over there and over there. And I'm not sure what that is, but it could be probably a pool as well. That black bit over there. Good morning. Well, it's not really morning. It's a little bit after lunch, around 1 p.m. And I am starting my day with delicious fruit because, yeah, I think it's just uh, good for your body. It makes you feel fresh. I try not to eat too much rice when I'm starting the day. So come with me and let's go check out what's outside the door. Apparently, Seta Residence says Makati does provide you with three meals a day. So I actually don't know what I'm going to be doing with all the food I brought with me from Scotland. I brought food good for, I would say, 15 days. So uh, I would love to feast on all the delicious food I brought, but I also don't want to gain weight. So from here, let's go check out what's outside the door. I would assume there would probably be two meals already since it's 1 p.m. lunch and breakfast. So ooh, let's check out the great revelation. This is actually exciting because it feels like a present. Every time you open your door, there's going to be food outside. Wow. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> I did request for more vegetables and fruit. Starting my day, I've got some delicious salad. Wow, I'm very pleased with that. And let's see what we have here. It smells a bit fishy for good reason. It does feel like day one here because this is my first day of sunlight. But it is day two already. I did check in yesterday at 2 a.m. Very, very late. I was supposed to check in at actually around 6 p.m. So I did show you my meals for yesterday. I think I had some pork chops. There was breaded fish. There was some chicken with cream. There was loads of rice. And I think there was salad, some fruit. There was also some cooked vegetables and calabasa. And the red velvet chocolate cake was absolutely so delicious uh, amongst all the other dishes that they provided for day one yesterday. So while I'm eating my food, I sometimes like to do a little bit of work. Uh, I don't believe that's called mindful eating. But for those who are trying to 
cut down on the calories, mindful eating is just focusing on your food and not multitasking with anything else. But right now, I am going to be working on my laptop. But right now, I am going to be working on my iPad. <laughs> So this is actually quite a lot of food to eat for day two. This is actually from day one. Uh, since I got here really late last night, I ended up eating four meals and it's only 4 p.m. So from last night to today, that's quite a lot of food. And how it works here is you are supposed to put your all your trash inside a plastic bag and leave it outside the door. But because I feel like it's too much plastic, this is plastic and then I have another plastic bag, um, I did call the receptionist and ask them if I could just leave it outside on the table with a note that says finished. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing now. I'll be making a note and writing finished. I'll leave this outside and they do collect the trash between 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. I just double checked that. Apparently it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is when they collect the trash every day. So let me just write this down. I think it's pretty important to do exercises every day, even if it's so tempting to just chill out here in this beautiful hotel. I will be pushing myself to do some workouts, even if it's just a minimalist of movement. I think every movement counts. So still on day two, let's begin our quick little stretch. weather here has definitely changed. There's a lot of lightning and thunder. Wow, I get to witness all of it through these windows. It is pretty grim. No wonder we couldn't land last night at the Naia 3 terminal. They actually directed us uh, to Clark. We were supposed to land in Manila. And yeah, wow, the storm and the weather here isn't as great. But yeah, I'm just grateful that I'm here safely. Oh, I think I heard the doorbell. It's dinner time, let's go check it out. I wonder what food they have in store for us today. There it is. Wow. Let's go check it out. All right, it's time to see what we have here. I did just uh, speak with the front desk and I requested for some lettuce and tomatoes instead of rice. So it looks like we've got some tofu and some beans. This looks like meat and I believe this is fried chicken with some ketchup. I can already smell it. So I have to say I have been eating the whole day and my body is telling me to slow down on the calories since I haven't really moved that much. So it's either I devour this which looks and smells really really good and continue my workout there which I don't think I'm looking forward to. 
So I think I will just eat probably 50% of this. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say this because I've been so well fed today with three meals plus dessert. I'm starting to build up an appetite, so I think I'm going to prepare some mac and cheese. Pasta is still a bit hard, so let's give it a few more minutes. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> so it's actually day three now, and guess what I'm having for breakfast? This is it. <laughs> well, I'm saying that because it's only about 6 a.m and my breakfast, which is included in the accommodations, will be arriving at around 7 p.m. So when a girl's hungry, she gotta eat. <laughs> it's day three and I'll be honest, I was woken up by a massive earthquake. <sighs> Being here on the 23rd floor um, is lovely, but when there's an earthquake, the feeling is very intensified, so I barely had any sleep, but oh, I think I heard the doorbell. Let's go check out what's for breakfast. Um, it's 7 a.m. and I'm looking forward to having some comfort food. Mm -hmm. See, this is my trash. I'm sure they'll collect it later on. But, mm, Don't have that much appetite just because I suppose I hardly slept and the earthquake is still uh, making me worry a bit the floor was literally uh, moving and I could hear the walls um, sort of cracking it's not a nice feeling at first I thought I had vertigo or that I was still in the airplane <laughs> but it was real the earthquake was really real um, I opened the door and the other guests were looking out their rooms as well. I saw some guys running down the stairs and I panicked. But anyway, <laughs> let's get on with our day three. <gasps> I know I really should be eating on a table, but breakfast, oh no, lunch in bed, why not? Let's do it. Look at that. Should be delicious. And yes, I use a cafetiere for my water because it's so much bigger this way. So even if I'm in isolation for 10 days, I still like to do my eyebrows. So I think it's a good idea to fix yourself every day even if you are not supposed to be seeing anyone. <laughs> even if no one will see you. What's important is you make yourself feel good. I know I'm wearing a robe, but who says gold earrings don't match my robe? So, those are the things I like to do every day while I'm here for my 10 day quarantine. Fix yourself up, put some lipstick if you want, do your hair. Yeah, just have fun. it's also good to get that heart pumping it's really healthy for you and to build that muscle so I'll be doing like a fake push-up or a girly push-up <laughs> Aside from doing all the cardio workouts I think it's also important to have a good mental health
so I am about to enjoy my shower just now. So if you'll excuse me, I'm about to take a nice long shower now. where it's not raining outside i think it's a good time to show you what the nightlife looks like outside since we are in the city let's go close turn off all the lights and i guess the tv as well so we can get the maximum effect all right there's a very pretty building across me and that's how it looks like you can see the busy cars and the inter
very calming and peaceful. Quite a contrast to the usual hustle and bustle of the city. Very nice. And with that, I am saying goodnight. <laughs>
Alright, we made it to you. And we made it to day six. Wow, how time flies. I guess I'm having fun here. Let's go see what's for breakfast. There it is. Oh, I don't see any fruit or veg. Da, 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 da. And day six, let's see what we have for breakfast. Looks like garlic rice. I guess this is canned tuna. <laughs> Scrambled eggs and some chicken nuggets. This kind of reminds me of my childhood a bit. So oddly enough, they did not give me any fruit or vegetable this morning. Every morning they have been doing so. So I shall call and make a request and hopefully they'll be giving me some vegetables. Or, or fruit. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. So I did make a request for my greens. I do really need to have vegetables in the morning. But in the meantime, while we wait for that, I am going to have my leftover fruit from the other day. I'm quite happy they put papaya for a change, but I am missing my dragon fruit. It's alright. <laughs> Let's eat. Ooh, I think I hear the doorbell. They gave me some olive oil. So according to the room service, they ran out of my favorite garlic sauce. However, they did make up for it with this one. It's uh, yogurt. I'm very, very happy. I am so happy. Now my food looks complete. I've got everything there. Bravo, Seda. I am very pleased. I'm very happy. <laughs> so the good news is the sun is out. So I can even see some people using umbrellas to shield themselves from the sun. That's when you know you're really back in the Philippines. Is when you see a lot of Filipinos using an umbrella like myself. In the UK, it's absolutely...
amazing because everyone here in the hotel has been so nice. The people at the receptionist um, here, I can name their names. Uh, there's Ivy, Sarah, Camille, there's Anthony, even the IT guy who fixed the Wi-Fi was was very helpful. So everyone here, oh and I think there's Janiel as well. Everyone here has been so helpful at Seda Residence as Makati. Um, but yeah, I am very much looking forward to leaving here hopefully on, yeah, that's going to be, well it's day 6 now so I leave on the 10th day so that's gonna be very soon. But yeah, the feeling is just so strange because normally when you land from a flight, you're you know you're free, woo, you get to experience everything. But no, I'm yeah, it's it's very strange the feeling. But but yeah, just just wanted to let you know what it's like um, being confined um, at quarantine and flying for so many hours. Um, it's a different kind of reality, definitely. So. I'm just watching all the cars go by. It makes me contemplate on life. That, you know, when, <laughs> it's a weird thing to be thinking of, but you know, your time on earth, you should make the best of it. Try to touch other people's lives, do what you can to make other people happy and feel loved. And of course, live a good life as well, because one day when you leave and that day will come, Life will still go on with or without you, so it's a bit sad, but it's um, might as well make an impact while you can. A good impact, of course. Now, let's continue our day, shall we? <laughs> Tama ng emo. It's dessert time. I'm definitely eating a lot more calories than I normally would. So I got this off the UK airport, well, Edinburgh airport, and I got this off the lounge for Qatar Airways. Let's start lunching away. Gotta get my sugar fix. Mm. Tastes like milk chocolate. <laughs> Peppery. I'm sure this is just gonna be full of sugar. <laughs> it's sweater weather again. Oh, it's always been raining since I got here. But not to worry, I suggest to take a nice, long, warm bath to get your spirits up. And no pun intended, I just came from the UK and I thought of making some tea. So, gloomy weather uh, means you need to boost up your your energy, so uh, make yourself a nice warm drink. This should do the trick. I got this off Eddie's Kitchen. Still on day six, it's almost day seven because it's midnight. It is honestly so tempting just to eat, especially when you have all this food and there's more in the fridge, but no, I'm gonna power through and work out. So far, it's 50-50. Um, so I've been here for, well, I guess seven days and I've worked out three times. And yeah, I think it's it's okay. I mean, any small effort that you do, as long as you keep your heart pumping and you're just not picking out, I think you should be okay. So let's get to work out. Um, so let's start working out. And from here, I can reward myself with food. Kind of like defeats the whole purpose, but yeah, I'm hungry. If you work out, you will make yourself feel better. And I guess it's justifiable to eat. So let's work out and then let's eat. <laughs> Finally done working out. Come on, let's go eat. <laughs> this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to be having my last can of mac and cheese. I'll be chopping off some chorizo and then mixing it all together in a bowl. Pop it in the microwave and that's it. We're good to go. Let's go eat. I'm starving, especially after a good workout. It does feel like you deserve a reward and chow time. <laughs>
So if you're the type who overthinks a lot, like for me, I tend to, my mind is always working. Um, sometimes it can lead to anxiety and so what I like to do is I like to meditate and there are times when I can just play some uh, Zen music and that helps but other times I need help so I do play a guided meditation so it's time to meditate it's day seven seven heaven <laughs> let's meditate <laughs> was so nice guys you do have to try meditation and you don't have to be an expert at it go to youtube search guided meditation for positivity for relaxation anything honestly it feels so good and it's so cheap it doesn't cost anything so yeah a massage for the mind is what i would call it <laughs> It's taking a while to upload. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope all of you are doing well. As for me, I'm getting hungry again. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a bit personal. I think it's the time of the month, but I am gonna eat this. I have so many of these. Let's eat. <laughs> It is another beautiful day. Good morning, how is everyone? I'm excited for today because it's swab test day. So let's get ready to start our day. Usually takes me a long time because I have so many piercings, but I almost forgot my breakfast is actually waiting for me outside. Ooh, is this looking good already? Wow, I can see the salad and the vegetables. Wow, wow, wow. I did put this towel here in preparation for my swab test today. But let's go check out what's for breakfast. I hope everyone's had a lovely breakfast as well. So I think because of this pandemic, all of you know that it's so important to keep fit, especially since you're staying at home. But aside from working out and trying to be healthy, it's so important to have a good, uh, healthy mind and healthy spirit as well. So let's meditate. And if you don't know how to meditate, you can also just have quiet time and uh, time to allow your mind to breathe, meaning to say just clear your mind, empty your mind, and I promise you after that you'll feel so much better. Because especially during now you want to overthink things and um, you're probably worried about all the uncertainties, but it's so important to really meditate and silence your mind. <laughs> That felt so good. 
Contoma ada sembilan kasih A. A. Terus kemudian apa ya? Lepas ini lah. Lepas satu ini lah. Empat empat tiga. Ada sama. Mana apa? Apa? Mau kau lihat lah. Satu ini apa sih A? A. Lepas satu sana. Ini lah kan lah. Lepas satu ini lah. Lepas empat empat tiga. Mana tu kan? Apa yang dapat? Twice. Ya, semua apa yang? Wow. Apa yang kita kasi? So I'm glad the PCR test is finally over. It happened 7 p.m. and I've been waiting the whole day for it and it isn't the best feeling. That's why I worked out and now I am going to grab some delicious comfort food which is going to be mac and cheese with loads of chorizo. I do have to note that some people do get theirs usually early in the morning. They start 6 a.m. and it goes on the whole day. I guess you're just sort of unlucky if you get yours really late in the evening. Um, but nevertheless, Pad Lab does they will, according to the receptionist, nevertheless, Pad Lab does show up really eventually. They're not gonna miss out on anybody. But um, I've been told that I think Red Cross sometimes might miss some people like a day. So you just wanna double check just to be sure. But right now the plan is to chop up some chorizo, uh, prepare this delicious mac and cheese. I know it's the sweet one, it's not really my favorite. Mix it all together and just have a relaxing evening. Let's cook and let's eat. So before going to sleep, I just wanted to share with you something. So let's go over to the bathroom. And I don't mean to be nosy or anything, but it's just, you know, really quiet here in the room. And I do like to see other forms of life, I suppose. So when I look out uh, this window, I just try to see if there's anybody working at this hour. Right now it's midnight and I really don't see anybody working. And I suppose I need to remind myself to enjoy the time that I have here in this quarantine because I know it's not going to be forever. And I don't know if you can see me, but I guess it's really important just to appreciate that, you know, I'm healthy, every, everything's okay with my family. And yeah, I just, um, I'm appreciating the peace that's here right now. So very interesting to have that kind of perspective, look out into the city lights and I am going to bid everyone a good night. Nighty night! <laughs> morning it's another beautiful day here in the metro i decided not to open that layer just because it's i just literally woke up but let's go see what's for breakfast it's around 8 a.m right now i don't see any vegetables but let's see Okay, let's see what's for breakfast. The great revelation. Let's see. Wow! Oh, everything looks delicious. Rice, scrambled egg. My mom eats that. I can't remember what that's called. This looks like salmon, but I took a bite and it's not salmon. It's, I think, um, something else. Perhaps chicken or pork. So, oh well, my dreams of, my dreams and hopes of it being salmon. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start my morning different this time. I am gonna make some coffee, so let's make some coffee. Okay, while we are waiting for that water to heat up for our coffee, let's start it with a glass of water. It's hardly a glass though, this is a cafetiere, but it's really good to get your organs activated. 
and yeah I do have something important to say so there has been a big boo-boo so remember how I said that um, my flight with Qatar Airways got moved because for some reason we were supposed to land in Manila but we ended up in Clark and so what would have been my arrival at 5 p.m. ended up being at 2 a.m. so that essentially means that my check-in was supposed to be on the 22nd of July it ended up being 23rd of July because I was supposed to arrive 5 p.m. on July 22 it ended up being 2 a.m. of July 23 <laughs> which essentially means all my days here have to be backtracked by one day so um, today is supposed to be I think my um, my eighth day or um, we're actually losing track but essentially I do have to extend one more day here Oh, and think about it it's only a difference between two hours so if I arrived here midnight or before midnight that's considered as I suppose day one but because I arrived after midnight that's already considered day one so that's the following day so just something to note if ever you're going to have your quarantine here in Manila that you must arrive exactly on the day of the start of your quarantine so if it's at 12 30 a.m. or 1 30 a.m. that day is considered as day one so <sighs> I'm extending for one more day so yeah I guess today is day eight because I had my quarantine yesterday so yesterday would be day seven oh well that's life what can I do right it's um, it's it's the rules it's uh, what needs to be followed so Oh well, let's have breakfast, but first let's have coffee. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that earlier on in the video, but yeah, I put that there on purpose last night because have a look at this. It doesn't seem so bright right now, but when all the lights are off, this is absolutely gleaming on the eyes. And if you're like me where you're very conscious about making sure your body rejuvenates overnight, you want to make sure you get as much darkness as you can. So I definitely close all the curtains I turn off all the lights and I cover lights like that so it's just a little tip in case you want your body to get that full night's rest um, try to sleep with no lights on and definitely put your phones away uh, put it on airplane mode and yeah have total pitch darkness blackness when you sleep <laughs> but for now I'm gonna take this out and have a normal day with no towels exposed <laughs> I am not gonna lie, I am starting to miss being outdoors. I miss stepping on the ground. I miss non-conditioned air because that's all I've been inhaling. I'm still grateful, of course. Uh, I'm very happy with my room. I'm getting hungry. Maybe that's why I'm getting emo. Okay, let's see, what are we gonna eat? Wow, so many options. Another reason to be grateful. Good morning. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all all right. Today is technically my last full day here. It's day nine. Oh my gosh. Um, so today I'll be expecting an email for the PCR test results. And of course, I'm expecting it to be negative. And once I have that, I'm all ready to. And once I have that, I'm all set to check out tomorrow, which is day 10. So I'm absolutely looking forward. I miss my family, my dog, and I'm ready to move on with life. Uh, it's been a great stay here, of course, but yeah, it's, it's definitely time to check out tomorrow. So I'm excited to, to show you what's in store for today. But before we start the day, let's do a little meditation. But before that, <laughs> let's have a glass of water as well. It's always good to cleanse the body first thing in the morning and cleanse the mind as well and then we can proceed so thank you all for tuning in and thank you as well for keeping me company during this time um being in isolation for 10 days yeah i'm, I'm just just here talking to you and it, i really appreciate you sticking around with me so let's hop on to it Mm -hmm. 
The great revelation, it's breakfast time. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> so I'm very excited, however, they forgot my veg again. Should I just let it go? It's my last full day here anyway, but oh. Okay, let's see first what they brought for breakfast. So I think staying here for, uh, well, technically 10 days, but because I arrived here at 2 a.m., so I guess uh, for them that's considered nine days. Um, yeah, I pretty much memorized already their breakfast here. <laughs> I've had this before, garlic rice. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's achara. And then you've got scrambled eggs, and I'm pretty sure that is going to be sweet sausage. So I will request for veg. Let's give uh, the receptionist a call. So I'm hoping it's either Camille, Ivy, um, there's Anthony. So let's do that. Probably busy this morning. chefs or cooks sometimes because there, there are uh, there have been mornings where they it's consistent they remember to give me uh, my salad um, so I think that happened three mornings which was uh, lovely and and then sometimes there are just relapses where they actually forget to give me salad so I have to call Your, uh, number, I guess. Um, 2304 Brought up. Great, thank you. I'll just wait for it na lang. Actually, in fact, um, before I, I did mention even without rice, I'm, I'm okay without rice if they replace it with, with vegetables. So, but um, yeah, I guess it, it's alright. I, I don't mind calling naman. <laughs> thank you, Clarissa. Okay, bye. So, let's wait. And yeah, I'm looking forward to having some yummy veg and getting those micronutrients in the system. So, let's wait. coffee was great but for now I'm just about to have an Instagram live with my friend from Davao so I'm gonna get ready and yeah I hope you guys can check out my Instagram as well because I do have interviews there and you'll see all my posts when I travel so yeah I'll just uh, get ready and of course even if you don't have an interview or even if you're not meeting anyone it's always good to uh, take care of yourself and look good for yourself so that you feel good <laughs> endorsing any brands here but clearly you've noticed my hair has been dyed and um, so it gets very dry and what I like to use is uh, coconut oil so that's something you can use since it's local as well and it's I guess natural and you want you're, you're sure that it doesn't have any um, chemicals and there you have it nicely moisturized Right, so I'll have to set it. Right. I'll, I'll, I want there. 
first. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to surely message you. Because I'm not really doing live. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? But I, I guess I, I want um, some of my friends in the rest of the world or whoever's watching to see na. I mean, you know how. So once you get your negative PCR test results, the hotel will require you to send them an email of your Bureau of Quarantine Certificate, which is also going to be emailed by Padlab. So I'm waiting for that. Once I receive that email, it's official. I'm out. But I also have an amazing idea for you to enjoy your quarantine as well. For me, it's my last day here. Well, my last night here. And I've prepared something special. So with that, it's going to require closing all the lights. So let me show you. Right, so here's the light switch. Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? I knew I was going to be here for a while. So I brought these romantic stars with me. You can get them from Lazada or Shopee. They're very, very cheap. I think about 200 pesos or maybe even less. But look how they complement the city lights. So that's another way for you to make your quarantine extra special is by having these very, um, what's it called? Romantic lights. So if you don't mind, I'm going to enjoy the view. Actually, I might enjoy a nice long shower with that in the toilet. So, right, <laughs> that's another good idea for you as well. Okay, so I have one last surprise to show all of you before I check out tomorrow. Okay, let's enter the bathroom. Look at how romantic that is. Let's close all the lights outside so you can see. Look at that. So tonight I'm going to take a shower with... with <clears throat> so tonight I'm going to take a shower with all these beautiful lights. Look at that, they're so pretty. And it's definitely worth bringing this if you only spend 200 pesos or less. It matches the city lights outside. There are no stars in the city because of the pollution, unfortunately. But tonight there are stars in the shower. Oh yeah, <laughs> lovely. Okay friends, wonderful news. I do have something to show you. This is me. I am signing off tomorrow. So I hope everyone's had an amazing day. I am saying good night here from Seda Makati Residences. It's our last night here together. Thank you so much for keeping me company and I shall see you back at home where I live. So bye guys. Good morning! How is everyone doing? I can't believe this is my last morning here. I am checking out today. I think they're going to send me the bill and what you can do so you don't have that much interactions. You could just pay using a credit card uh, via a link that they'll be sending you. So I just have to go through everything and yeah, make sure that once I check out, I go straight to the car and hopefully I don't have to uh, do much at the reception. So. That could be a plan for you if ever uh, you do stay in any of these hotels. Perhaps you could prearrange it um, with an email that they send you and...
what's your name? Ay, yung brother ko, Ay, yeah. I want to make sure na I'm also negative because I mean, he's already senior. Yes, Are we here? Okay. Okay. Hi there. Are you Christian? I won't get to meet Anthony or Camille or... Oh wow, no, she was so helpful. And Sarah and Ivy. Ready to memorize all of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just sanitize na lang after. Oops. The thing about this mask, it gets foggy because of the moist, no? Actually, I can't even breathe. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh great, how nice. Wow. <laughs> Oh, this is how it feels. I mean, it feels I, I enjoyed my stay here, but I'm very ready to, to walk on ground. I don't know what it's like anymore to inhale fresh air because it's pure AC, diba? So anyway, thank you so much, Christian. Wow, and then that's my pool, diba? Yeah, we're pool. Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh. And they had a... And they have a swimming pool here. Who knew? Because I've been in the room the whole time. I've never seen how their pool looks like. Look! Wow, it's beautiful! Oh my gosh. Wait, fast lang. I love it. I love it. Wow, how nice. It was for almost two years. So if there's no COVID here, look at this pool. I really highly recommend staying here in Seda Makati. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's very nice. May room service din kayo sa pool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sa pool mo kasi hindi ka rin Yeah. So, wow. Oh, and then, you can see all the rest of Manila, Makati. Because we're on the 19th floor now. It's beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Ganda. Okay, here we are. Ayan na, my dad's calling. Okay. Were you here nung nagkaroon ng earthquake? Ay, nasa bahay ako ma. Oh my God, you're so lucky. Oh. I'll help you with the food. Alexa, my dad. Ready? Hi, Lance. Wow, there's a Starbucks pala here. Chaka salad stop. Paborito ka yung salad stop. Oh, let's open the account. Hi, Lance. Kiss, kiss. Let's go on a social distance. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Bernard. 